Cheating, for its natural is evolutionary cheating, biology. Is cheating morally correct? Yes. Yes! So the top G just came out of prison and to celebrate this massive W, we're going to react to something. Something. Andrew Tate's most menace moment. The time he destroyed Britney Reina. There has not been in the history of humanity across any... Ah, look at her. She's already smiling. She already knows what she's about to say. And the other one, she's already irritated. Culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female ever. Ever. You know freedom of body, freedom of expression. Really, these women just want to be naked on Instagram and all that. Name the biggest conquerors that you can possibly name from history. Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, Big G conquered the world. Normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever. In well, now they are. Now they are. It's all in the name of body positivity. History. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and ticks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week. I Yo, what? Every single day of the week is crazy. This man is lining them up just like Drake. I can do that, and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different. And I'm going to explain to you why it's completely different, so buckle up. It's hey. different. <laughs> it's different. Go. It's different. Well, I'll tell you why. Go it on, is impossible Sassy. for a female <laughs> to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself, because she is fucking people she shouldn't. A man's life starts at 30. Wow. A woman's life starts at... 19 or 18 wow she's beautiful so most importantly just focus on yourself and the women are going to come when you have all the money be fucking there is no way she is sleeping with endless men and all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated if you find a woman who slept with 50 100 dudes she's either fucking dudes which are not at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy she's just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games or she's fucking a top g who barely texts her back so either way she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention for a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated that's once every couple years if that you ain't just gonna go out there fucking a new dude every week and say yeah he's worth pussy yeah he treats me good enough to get my pussy da, da, da. and you know what's funny about the universe it's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces when you devalue yourself it's kind of like men can smell it on you mm. they can just look at a bitch and go ho oh. they can just look at her and go ho oh. men now have the vision men now have the vision and that's yeah. the way it works so you have to be very careful as a female and sit and go does this man truly deserve to fuck me and if you think about it the answer 99% of the time especially if you're promiscuous is no so when a woman <laughs> is sleeping around with all these men she's devaluing herself she's devaluing herself and the world knows God knows the universe knows when a man does it he doesn't devalue himself at all that's just the way it works can that's I ask you a question wait wait. wait 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 Esther one second sir may I ask grandma's happy Grandma's way too happy. She misses this old masculine man back in her days. Hello. Ah! Two question. What would you say if a woman now is married to two men? Haram. Haram. No, I'll tell you why. Let's talk about this. Mm. What is the difference between a man, let's say me, I have four wives, right? What's the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men? You can... Four men. The thing is, what's wrong with these people who, who... The guys who stay in these type of relationships? Like, bro, your wife is multitaxing. You're seeing her multitax. Why are you staying with her? You can get any girl you want. 
impregnate the four wives at the same time. You can impregnate the four wives at the same time, and we know who the parents are, right? So yes. you, let's say you had four pregnancies. You'd know who the mother is because <laughs> she's carrying the baby, and you know who the dad is, top G. If you had a woman with four men and she gets pregnant, who's the, who's the parents? What about if— the, No, I'm asking. Okay, Do you know? I ask, what if they're different races? Answer one white, the question. One black? You don't Answer know. the question. You don't you know. Do. Now, modern science— The same thing happened when Lana Rhodes had the child. As in, how did they prove who the father is? As in them, she's been in a lot of scenes. A lot of scenes. Ah, uh, bruh, he's going to get bullied at school. Hope he doesn't create an Instagram account. Most of the world today, still today, virginity is so coveted. And throughout all of history, it's been so coveted. Because that's the only way to ensure paternity. Mm -hmm. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She ain't a virgin. Prove it's mine. Outside of this modern science bullshit, shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, <laughs> and most of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh, anti-promiscuity, you can't tell. If every girl nowadays walked with their body counts on their head, things would be different, man. This would be different. Marriage wouldn't exist anymore. Like, right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft. But it's, mm. but it's, but it's bullshit. And it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy. <laughs> Man said proxy. He's right. Without us, where else would you get the nut? One. And two, the second life gets difficult, you very quickly, you very quickly learn how much you need men. But women will go, I'm an independent. I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men bear my OnlyFans. And if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just named your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're... Even the OnlyFans, the Instagram you get your money from was made by men. This whole idea is pointless. Pointless. Mm. Feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling or there's a fucking broken down car or the tire needs changing. Then all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. And this is the actual the very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to get me canceled again, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, but, but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who could defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. Well, so this is the thing. This is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume. a war. Assume. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Bro was not having it. Bro was not having it. Wait, wait. I'm Angolan. Bruh, this shit killed me. Golan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. And don't lie listen, to the people at home. Wait, don't worry. I'll talk about my Never. personal story. You want to go to war? You no, want to fight wait, the wait, let lines? me tell you. Let me, let me tell you, auntie. Who wants to normalize let equality? People at home. Oh, it's the auntie again. She wants the smoke. Feminist. Who else no, wants to? I want, well, I actually know equality. I want respect. That's really Yo, all I want. What's stopping you from getting respect? Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I get respect. respect. I get respect. So that's what I want. That's what I like. Respect. What I think. Auntie is up by 10 points. She winning this argument. She cooking. You never know what you want. I'll tell you what I want. Know what you want. You want I, as a woman, I carry myself respect. differently. I actually hold the things that I have done. Oh, he's smiling. He's a menace. Bro, looking, enjoying this argument. And in the fight side, for I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't, don't take it. You. you do sometimes. You. And I'll I tell you argue. something. A lot of women may have the accolades to be somebody, but they are uncomfortable to own that. Denava, Denava, what would you do? If one of these security guards broke into your door, <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> okay. Would do? <laughs> she would simply run. She would simply just run. What tell you. would you do? What would one, you do? No, seriously, there's she's no a, guns she's, here. She's a feminist. I'll, I'll she's tell feminist. you. No, I'm not a she feminist. Was as they tell I'm, me. A, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I'm, I'm a bit smarter. Okay, Either okay. I'd play the, dead, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight and work. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around with Pokemon <laughs> dances to try and convince men to go yeah, fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is a delusion. You are good no at way. other things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,